Hey, what's up, watchers? Um, just thought I'd do a, uh, this will be a short video. I don't have a lot of uh, photography from the last week. Uh, we've had this low pressure system over us that's it's been kind of pinwheeling for you know, well over a week now, and uh, it's pretty much what the, the skies look like, so there's uh, not really an opportunity to see very much out there. So I um, just thought I'd cover a couple uh, new things. Uh, it looks like 38 thousand people lost power in san francisco bay looks like they're not really sure why uh, maybe it has something to do with the sun uh speaking of the sun i know the sun this summer has been really i don't know if the ultraviolet rays are beginning to get through a little more or what's going on there but uh you know just watch yourselves out there as far as exposure because uh it really seems to have a burning nature to it i'm watching some of the some of the uh, ferns and some of the vines around uh, the area in my neck of the woods just uh, just burning up. And these uh, plants have been there for you know, 20, 30 years. So also my roses, which I take very good care of, the petals uh, were just getting fried about uh, two, three weeks back. So, uh, you know, keep your eye on uh, how much uh, sun you guys are, are taking in there. It's... Uh, you know, let's uh, try to tell my kids. I'm like, yeah, it's invisible. You don't see it, but it uh, doesn't mean it can't do you a lot of damage. So um, Associated uh, Press here, Obama and Putin cancel their summit. Two actors on a stage. I believe they both know what they're doing. They're just playing their parts. But uh, interesting, you know, a little uh, Cold War shaping up there. Uh, you know, you got to have an adversary if you're going to fight it out in Megiddo in the Middle East. But uh, we'll see. See how things unfold there. Um, sun flips uh, magnetic field soon. Hey, we finally got some uh, news out of NASA. So, uh, you know, who knows what the, uh, the uh, I, I don't know that we would, I don't know what the effects that uh, Earth would feel uh, on something like that. Um, I haven't really looked into it that deeply, but uh, I think that happens every 20 or 22 years on average. Uh, um, I don't know if you guys caught this uh, Patty Brassard uh, interview. Uh, it's pretty interesting. Apparently she's an insider with the government, uh, high-tech uh, person, uh, designer, you know, slash electrical engineer, and, uh, you know, put forth some apparent inside information on planet x and its uh orbiting objects so uh you know whether or not uh, we can verify it probably not you know but uh take it for what it's worth she sounded convincing so uh you know whether or not uh that happens in august is another question so uh, one other uh, YouTube site I'd like to direct you guys to is Astral Traveler. He uh, he uses all of uh, NASA's uh, available data on the web, and really breaks it down uh, for the layman to uh, you know understand the you know, protons and neutrons and the you know magnetosphere flux and ionosphere and you know the, the things that uh, definitely impact Earth. Uh, so uh, I would very much recommend you uh, check out his site. Uh, anyway, yeah, uh, pictures, I was out last week and just grabbed a handful. Uh, this appears to be a lens flare. This is what the original infrared camera brought back. Again, this can be deceiving because it's so nicely tucked behind the tree line, but uh, on my 35 millimeter digital, I think I've proved that uh, you can have uh, a lens flare behind the tree line it it can happen so it's it's not outside of the realm of possibility so uh you know i'll call that a flare uh what i did is uh further ran some lightroom filters against this thing and uh that i thought that was an interesting object up there it's uh, kind of has a tilt to it. it's got some banding uh took a couple more frames showed up again and showed up again. Looks like uh, this this band came through on it here. From one frame to the next, looks a little bit different. Which would be maybe indicative of rotation. 
But, uh, it, you know, if we were going to have... Uh, if we were going to have an interplanetary visitor and it was going to, you know, turn the Earth on its ear by, you know, 30, 50 plus degrees, whatever, uh, I would expect that something that size between the Earth and the Sun would do it. Uh, not some, you know, little star speck that's uh, f far out in the distance, you know, the size of Jupiter. If Planet X is real and it has orbitals, this would be the size of what I'd be looking for. That something that size could probably give the Earth a good uh, a good magnetic tilt. So, but uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much all I have. Uh, like I said, the the weather uh, has just been terrible here in uh, Illinois. It's a never-ending stream of clouds. So uh, as soon as that breaks, I'll get back out and do some more work. Until then, we'll talk to you later, guys. Bye.